<laughs> oh, what up guys and welcome back to another one. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, do I have a treat for you. Brother Brad from Ducks is in. It's Brad, the one that runs uh, the Ducks Instagram. If you haven't followed Ducks on Instagram right here, you probably need to. But we do have Brad in town. He's staying with us for probably three or four days. Going to be doing a lot of hunting together these next three to four to five days here. And today, we have a huge, huge, huge 5,000 mallard feed field up against some sheet water that we're going out west with Cameron and the boys from Wing Chasers today. Should be an absolute poop show. The catch for today is uh, Brad brought all of his dive bombs as well. So it's me and his decoys. He has a bunch of Canada Sillos and he has a bunch of white socks. Same here. So we're gonna use our spread only. It's gonna be an all dive bomb spread. What's awesome about this is that the entire spread of roughly 105 dozen decoys fits all in the bed of my truck, in the grandpa topper. Yeah, crazy. But I will show you guys that in just one second. If you guys haven't checked out the Ducks Thermal Hoodies, they're thick and they're extra warm. They are the exact same material that our uh, Ducks Waiter Sweats, the thermal ones, the same stuff they're made out of. So they're extra warm. If you guys haven't checked these out, we have them in a handful of different colors. I'll link them down in the description below. Go check them out. They are warm. I'm not lying. But I'm sure Brad's ready. He brought his dog Bear. I think we're taking him as well today too. Um, I'm talking a little slow because it is 3.47. Yep, 3.47 a.m. I got up at 3.30. We have about an hour and 15 minute drive. So let's get on the road. Without any further ado, let's hit this bad boy right in the kisser. Me and Bradley are on the road. Good morning. Are you tired? Yeah, I'm a little sleepy. It's been a long few days, that's for sure. But uh, what time did you get in last night? Midnight-ish. Midnight-ish. Drove four hours. Got about two and a half hours of sleep. Back on the road again. So uh, it's gonna be a long day, that's for sure. Hopefully it'll pan out. He left Lincoln at like I don't know eight o'clock. Got to the house at twelve. We shuffled a bunch of stuff around. Loaded decoys. This and that. Oh, oh, but wait. Got the, look at that. Oh, the thermal hoodie, baby. He's wearing it because it's warm. Warm. It's good stuff. I'm not gonna lie. Just like them sweats, I'm telling you, that's what we're wearing the rest of the season. The cold set in, that's what your boy is not taking off. But we do have all the uh, dive bombs loaded, and let me tell you what, we fit them all in here. I have 100 and 510, I, I don't know, 10 dozen decoys in the bed of my truck with a topper. Who in their right mind can fit 110 dozen decoys in the bed of their truck? That's what's just awesome about these decoys. You guys wonder why the spread has changed and this is what I'm using? That is exactly why. The more you have, the bigger the spread, the more birds you're gonna kill anyway. So, all of you that have been asking about the full body spreads and if they work better than silos and socks, it's all about how you set them spreads. So when I'm showing you how we set these spreads, you need to pay attention and uh, I always explain it. So the bigger you set them, the better they work. Let's get to the field. Well, there we go. We are driving in. Today, oh yeah, it's a wheat field. Uh, like the last video you guys seen, absolutely destroyed the lessers on the wheat. So uh, today is gonna be mallards. Mallards in general is the key for today. Uh, gonna have the white on. We're gonna be blind and then mallard's gonna be a sunny day. So that white is gonna become really, really bright and what the heck? And we will be gone. They'll be blinded. They won't be able to see us laying under that white little umbrella. Oh my goodness. I'll have to show you guys the spread in a minute, but look at these birds. They are dumping on us. It's been shooting light. We're late getting set up. The ground is absolutely frozen. Look at this. Oh boy, it's gonna get dirty, boys. Oh, oh goodness, boys. Oh, look at that guy, right over our head. Look at this, look at this group. We better get ready here. Oh, boys, come on, we got a spray here. Look at them, here they come. Look at this group, dude. 
Uh oh, right over the top. Ooh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, <laughs> All landed on the ice. So we got uh, quite a few ducks on the ice in front of us here. It's, I don't know, we're probably about 15 minutes after uh, shooting light. And uh, like I said, we're with Cameron again from Wing Chaser. And this is a little juice hole. We are sitting, Colby, sitting in white, laying in white, hunting ducks on sheet water. Tell me that ain't sweet. Okay. Get ready guys, up front. Guys, <laughs> kill him! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> hey, bro. Hey there. Hey there, bro. Are you gonna let him work a little longer? I mean, you could have, right? Yeah, I could. <laughs> Holy smokes! That was a massive group. Cameron let him work and work and let him get closer. Awesome. As you've seen, they're wanting to land out on the ice. Hey, let's Ga go. He gave them some time, let's worked go. them hard, and brought them closer. Brought them closer. Hey. That was beautiful. That was unreal. Oh, boy. There's just tornado after tornado of ducks. Crazy. Nice shooting, boys. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> aimed at the same pin till Dustin twice. Oh man, this is this is epic. I am holding back everything I can to to start shooting. I want to start shooting bad, but I know you guys like the big camera action. So if you guys are enjoying it so far with the big camera, you need to drop a big old thumbs up right now. Run! Oh, about did. Uh, that was close. Oh, two more, three more coming back at you. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. He's having a heyday. So Brad brought his dog Bear and he is absolutely loving it. They haven't hunted for like two weeks. They've all been frozen up in Nebraska. And, uh, Tell you what, the dogs are loving it today. A little skittish getting out on the ice at the first thing, but yeah, they're a little skittish getting out on that ice today. But oh, uh oh, <laughs> oh, got it, nice. So, so like I always say, Cameron guides. Uh, if you guys want to come and do a hunt just like this, I'm telling you what, they've been hunting the sheet water like this. You need to hit them up on Instagram. Shoot them a DM on Instagram right here. That's the best way to get a hold of them. Central Kansas at its finest right here.
Widgeon. <laughs> Kill us too. Sit. Oh, puffed his butt off, but that wasn't very good shooting, Bob. Stay. Oh man, look at that. <laughs> we got mallards working up top, so we're letting the uh, the teal do some crazy stuff down low here. Yeah, right in front. Look at that wedging up front. Sit. Sit. There you nice go. shooting. I wanted to kill one that I know I could. Look at him. Oh, who's going to get to it first? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> he couldn't stop. <laughs> he was trying to put on the brakes. Like, oh. Here. Hey. Good boy. Woohoo. Boy. Old bear's loving it right now. Oh. Sit. 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 Oh my Sit. God. Oh. Sit. <laughs> 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 he said kill him on the left. I'm filming. Brad, he's like, uh, uh he was waiting on someone over here to shoot. Come on. Dude, that was like a five yard just. <laughs> Come here. Feathers just hitting us in the face. When feathers hit you in the face, you just love it. Widgeon. Kill us too. Sit. That wasn't very good shooting, Bob. Kill the top. Stay. Anything about man, that? This pattern is tight on this old girl. Woo! Oh man, my pattern is really, really tight. That's what I think, and my hands are froze, so my shooting is not very good today. Holy smokes! Well, it is the uh, intermission time right now. They're all out to feed. We're waiting on them to come back. When they come back, uh, it's usually between about 9:30, 10 o'clock. And when they come back, I guess they come back harder than they were here this morning. And wow, this morning was was wild. Uh, we started popping off shots right at the beginning. I didn't even have a head mount on, a camera going, we we're all just blazing. So there's a lot of footage that I missed because we were late getting set down due to the ground being so hard. Uh, we brought a uh, 110 dozen dive bomb uh, silos and socks and I think we only got up probably, I don't know, I'm guessing right at 60, 70, maybe 65, 70 dozen at most. But as you've seen, man, these decoys, I can tell you what saved the day. If we, if these would have been full bodies, there's no way we would have got the stakes in the ground. So these spring, uh, spring steel stakes that these bad boys are on were lifesavers today. By far, I mean, lifesavers. But here's the spread. A little hole we got opened up with the mojos. And uh, we got Canada Silos that line the bank. And we're sitting back here in the white socks. Still up top. Well, two down. Two down. Not bad shooting there. I actually redeemed myself a little bit. Hands actually got warm. The old trigger, trigger finger ain't working too bad now. Barrel, let's go. Drop. Ah. <laughs> Come up top. Nice shot. Boom. Y'all are welcome. He did. <laughs> Y'all are welcome. <laughs> he goes, Y'all are welcome. <laughs> <laughs> he did, he splattered that one. I definitely didn't. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Nice. Boom. That is, uh, All right, boys, we can either wrap it up or we can wait for the game. It's up to you guys. So that's where we're at. Like Cameron just said, we can either wrap it up or we can wait for the geese. We uh, stopped, I think, four birds short, and that's where we're going to leave it. Um, just down two more pintails. I got my six birds. Um, 
<laughs> we all just shot amazing today, I'll tell you what. This was one heck of a hunt. One heck of a hunt. We pulled up and seen all this ice out here, and we're like, oh boy. We figured the birds would have kept it open a little more. Oh no. Let me show you what we're working with here. This is the hole we broke open. Literally, this is how big it is. From there, dude, that is the only hole we have open on this entire thing. So this is where they're getting down right here. It's where we're sitting right here. Got the, like I said, we got the bank just lined with Canada Silos, and then it goes back into Canada Socks, and white socks in back where we're laying. But I wanna thank, uh, first of all, we're not done here, but we are gonna start picking up I'm walking out to get the truck now. I want to thank uh, Cameron at Wing Chaser. Like I said, uh, they've been doing hunts like this all year. You guys have seen them on the channel. I've had a had a handful of really good just bangers with Cameron. Dalton, Colby, Cameron, Dylan, y'all four kill it. Let me tell you what. But it is 9:13. Oh boy, howdy! Does it feel good to be done at nine o'clock? We're gonna get the trucks in here. Like I said, start picking this bad boy up. Sitting these decoys this morning was absolutely brutal. This ground is frozen. Look at this. I mean, it doesn't even move. And when we pick up, I usually pull up right to the decoys like this. Boom. So it's easy to load them in the bed of the truck. Well, boys, goodness. Look at this pile. Beautiful. 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 Oh, look at that panty. It's just some studs. Yeah, buddy. All kinds of teal. Look at all. What a freaking banger that was. We got sat down a little late, and uh, it, and it's all due to the ground just being absolutely hard and frozen. Uh, these dive bombs usually go on the ground extremely easy, and it was a struggle to get them in. Uh, had to use a lot of hammers, a lot of beating, but uh, we made it happen, and that right there, whew, all worth it. Oh boy, finally made it home. Goodness, that was an hour and a half drive one way. Uh, you know how it goes, if you guys have been here since, uh, I mean, I guess since I started the channel, especially this season, I have been doing a lot of driving. A lot of hour, hour and a half drives out west to hunt with Cameron, that's for sure. Here, here's me and the boys' uh, little pile here, and we're gonna get to cleaning these birds, but I really, 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 really wanna say thank you for y'all being here. If it wasn't for you guys, me and old Bradley, we wouldn't be able to do this stuff for you. We wouldn't be able to make these duck hunt videos for you. This is this is something that I've always dreamed about doing, and every time I do it, every time I close out a video, it all kind of comes full circle, and I get that just refreshing feeling every time, like, we did it. We did it again. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you need to leave me a big ol' thumbs up. I already took that one out. But a hundred dozen decoys in the bed of my truck in the old man topper. With dive bomb decoys, you can do that. You've seen it today. hundred dozen, bed of a truck. Insane. But like I said today, we got the thermal hoodies in in this new tan color and I didn't even have to wear white over this today. I just laid straight on the dirt. It's, this is like the second or third hunt that I've done this and it blends extremely well. These are the thermal ones, the thick ones. The same material that the duck's waiter sweats are made out of. Thermal, thick, and warm. So if you want some of these, I'll link them both in the description below. Go to the duckswaterfowl.com website and check them out. But thank you all for being here once again. Subscribe if you haven't. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Peace. <laughs>